I would like to cry out for help, but how can one be helped in courts to freedom? I would like to cry out for help, but how can one be helped, in quotation, to freedom? There are, there are moments and days, periods, when we want to be helped. We want to be helped when you go to a doctor. We want to be helped when we have a disease, when we have been troubled by asking, talking over with somebody. We're always in the world, whether here or in Asia or different parts of the world, we are always wanting to be helped, right? And there are those who give you help, the priests, the vicar in the local village, the pope, those gurus who say, I'll help you. There are the, all those people in the world who are trying to help others. Because people are wanting help. This is apparently natural response to all their travail and to their misery and happiness. Probably most of you if I, one may most respectfully point out, you are all perhaps wanting to be helped. Perhaps. Some may not. And why do you want to be helped? Who is to help one? This is really quite a serious problem. We have, hel we have been helped by leaders, courts leaders, helped by priests, by psychologists, by therapeutists, by various literature, right? The craving, the human craving, which is crying to be helped. Why? Wow. This has been going on not only during our lifetime, it's been going on from the beginning of man, wanting to be helped. Or want to not only from another, helped by another, but also pray to God, to some symbol, to something crying out for to be helped. And this we have been doing for thousands and thousands of years. Political leaders, social leaders, and so on. Gurus with their absurdities. All this has been going on. And we have not been helped. Right? To be helped means to become strong. Not depend on anybody. to see things objectively, very clearly, not personally. 
and because we are rather indolent. We are so easily satisfied. But most of us are discontent. Discontent, discontentment is like a flame. We want to smother it. We don't keep that flame alive. Because it's too troublesome. It might bring about destruction. Not destruction, revolutionary physical destruction, but the destruction of one's own pettiness, one's own uncertainties, and so on. So we want to be helped. And there are people who are helping us. Therefore, they're keeping us permanently in a state of not being able to help ourselves. Right? Is it possible not to look to another? Not to look to books, to nothing? Because what you are is the result of being helped. If you say to yourself, I'm going to understand myself, I'm going to watch myself, see exactly what I am. Not get depressed what, seeing what you are, or elated, but just to observe. And this observation is very simple. If you really want it, you're not seeking help from anybody. Therefore, you have, you have to rely entirely on yourself, which means tremendous responsibility. And we don't want to be responsible. This is one of the things that's happening in the world. We are becoming less and less responsible. Because we say the politicians will see to it, the economists will see to it. If we are troubled, the psychologists, the, the therapeutists, and the psycho, all the rest of it. But to be, to have the ever flowing, living, the depth and the understanding of this movement called the Self, which can be perceived very clearly in the mirror of relationship. Right? You're following me? You can see yourself very clearly with your wife and in that relationship. Every reaction, every thought, every feeling, not letting one thought escape, watching. Then you have immense strength. Then you don't rely on anybody, because you are totally responsible for yourself, for your actions. And that demands a great deal of energy, not wasting energy, 
chattering, chattering, chattering talk. You follow? All that. And very few will do all this, unfortunately. Because we are all rather slack. Forgive me. Speak up for you if you use the word slack. And so the responsibi- responsibility is on others, not on oneself, not for oneself. And if you ask for help, you are making yourself more and more feeble. If you have a headache, as I'm afraid most people have some kind of neuralgia and so on, you take immediately a pill. But you do, it doesn't go, one doesn't go into the why it comes, what is the nature of it, why find out, work for it. You understand? See that it doesn't happen. You may be eating wrongly, doing etc., etc. We never go to the cause of things. Where there is a cause, there is an end to it. You understand? One drinks a tremendous lot. Next morning you have a hangover, headache. And to overcome that headache, you take a pill. And the next evening, carry on. You follow? This is the way we live. Highly sophisticated world we live in. And therefore, to ask for help to make oneself more feeble, more irresponsible, more dependent. Whereas if you are totally responsible for yourself. Everything that you do, or that you have promised to do, never find an excuse and so on. You understand? So that you are stand on your own feet in dignity and responsibility. 